Hi guys! I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I just wanted to make a quick video on funny, weird things that guests um, ask or say to the characters. Just, I don't know, I think it'll be funny. I actually wrote down loads of stuff. So this was the diary that I had when I was there. It's got my favourite Disney quote on it and Mickey Mouse, so it was all started by a mouse. Yeah, I absolutely love that quote. And I mean, Mickey Mouse is definitely one of my favourite characters by far. I love him, <laughs> like I really do. So yeah, while I was here, like I, I didn't write much in it. Um, I wish I'd written a lot more. The plan was to like, at the end of every day, write something and all I wrote was like up to here in the book. So yeah, if you look at the difference, I've got all of this left. So when I go back, I will try and be a lot better. But yeah, I'm just gonna read out a few of the things that guests have said that is like weird. Um, I actually like wrote down a little page of like, weird things that people said to me, um, I don't know, I just think it's funny to look back on, so yeah, here goes. Okay, so if you don't know, the word bisou um, means kind of like kiss in French. Obviously English people don't kiss their friends. Well, I mean, some people do, like you get just like a little like, there's your hug. Some people do it, some don't. It's not like in our culture to do it, but obviously it's a big European thing to like kiss people when you meet them and like obviously a lot of them do like two kisses not many people really do that with the characters but all the kids kiss their, char their favorite characters if they can like some of the characters don't like it some of them will let them you know it depends on um how snotty the child is <laughs> but yeah like so bizus is a big thing obviously in european um countries so adults ask for bisous and it's just the most bizarre thing like an adult like a fully grown man has asked Rapunzel for bisous and it's like you're what like 45 and you're asking like how old's Rapunzel 18 an 18 year old girl for a kiss like, you just wouldn't do that in real life, so don't do it with the Disney characters. Like, it's it's weird, it's creepy, they don't like it. Whether you're a male or a woman, if you're a fully grown adult, don't ask for a bisou, please. Like, it's just weird. Like, it's it's weird, it's awkward, uncomfortable, and the character will probably cut your um, <laughs> interaction short because they just find it awkward. Don't ask for the character to pose kissing you. Um, because again, that's weird, like, you know, Rapunzel is now married to Eugene. She doesn't want to be in pictures of her posing to kiss people. It's, it's weird. It's just strange, you know, just go with the character poses. Like, Rapunzel has many poses that she can help you out with. Um, if you don't know how to stand, just don't ask her to kiss you. It's, it's weird. <laughs> she doesn't like it. If it's a, um, character that's more like Chip and Dale, Ask them for a kiss, they are more than happy to kiss you. But if it's a princess, then, you know, it's a little bit different um, asking a princess for a kiss compared to Mickey Mouse, you know? But don't ask Mickey for a kiss if Minnie's there because she won't be happy about that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, um, I don't even know if this is like Disney official. I think it is, because I mean like the houses and stuff, like the architecture kind of looks slightly German in the Disney film, so I assume they based it like to look German. Like it's not like a well-known fact as to where all the Disney princesses come from. Well, I don't think it is, it's not to me anyway. Obviously I know that Belle is French because they say bonjour and stuff in the film, but like there is nothing language-wise or anything that shouts to you that Rapunzel is German. I, I did know that like Rapunzel is sort of based in Germany. But yeah, anyway, there was a guest that came in to meet Rapunzel and she had like a little bit of a meet and greet, like just like a, hi, how are you? How's your day going? And then she was like, do you speak German? And um, you know, Rapunzel doesn't speak German. So she was like, um, no, sorry. And she was like, oh, well you should know German because your story is based in Germany. And it was just like, she was really rude about it. And like Rapunzel was just like, okay, like, would you want me to just like click my fingers and speak German? You know, like it doesn't work like that. Like you can't just learn a language like with the click of a finger, you know, like it just doesn't work like that. And like people just, they just don't get it like language wise. 
they just don't understand why you can't speak every language in the world. But yeah, I don't know, like the woman, like I don't know why she was just expecting Rapunzel to speak German. Other things that I just kind of find funny um, are when people come in and they don't know who Rapunzel is. People just don't know who she is. Sometimes um, it tends to be people, I think they think that they are queuing for It's a Small World, which is a ride. Um, it's a little boat ride and it's like right next to the pavilion. So a lot of people actually think that they're queuing for that. Some of them like literally just walk straight through. <laughs> they don't even meet the princess because they, I don't know, they just think it's like part of the queue. It's weird, I don't know. But it's it's kind of funny because the queue for the pavilion is an hour and a half and a lot of the time the queue for Small World is only 10 minutes. So <laughs> they've queued an hour and a half to walk straight through to then go and queue for It's a Small World, which is only 10 minutes. I don't know, it makes me laugh. So I actually had some guests come in. They were meeting Rapunzel. I think these were definitely people who did not know that it was a character meet and greet and they thought that they were going on a ride or something. I don't know. Anyway, they came in, they had no idea who Rapunzel was. I don't know why, I think Rapunzel just kind of got the feeling that they were like a little bit like lost. I don't know. I don't know why Rapunzel said it, because she never said it anymore. But she said, do you know who I am? Um, just kind of like, do you know who I am? <laughs> um, and they, like the girl, so like there were like two parents and then a girl, but the girl was still like, 25. So basically in the pavilion there is like a back a background um, and it's got the Aurora's the Aurora's castle um, Aurora's castle on it um, and then the girl looked at it and she was like ah are you Cinderella? A that's not Cinderella's castle it's Aurora's castle but you know I don't expect someone who's not a huge Disney fan to know that because um, I mean I only know it's Sleeping Beauty's castle because people have told me like I don't ever remember seeing it in the movie like I wouldn't expect people to know whose castle it is um so fair enough but like no not Cinderella and then she was like oh I'm Rapunzel and then the girl was like oh okay uh from Hansel and Gretel and Rapunzel was like um no I, I'm I'm Rapunzel and she was like oh from Hansel and Gretel like no no not from Hansel and Gretel um I don't know what fairy tales this girl's watching, maybe there is a version where Rapunzel is in Hansel and Gretel, I don't know. Um, but the version of Hansel and Gretel I know does not include Rapunzel. Um, I have a feeling that maybe, maybe she had gone on like a ride, there is like a boat ride in the back of Disney, next to a ride called Casey's Jr, um, which is like a train ride, I don't know what the boat one is, and there is like a... It's like a storybook ride and there is like a little Hansel and Gretel section I think and then just behind it is Rapunzel's tower so maybe she'd seen that and then gotten confused, I'm not sure. But it was just the weirdest, like most bizarre meet and greet ever. Like it was just like, Rapunzel was just like, oh, okay, do you want a photo? And she was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> It was just so awkward. Okay, so this next one is quite funny actually. Um, it's kind of cute. It was on a parade and there was, I think it was around halfway down Main Street, there was a father and his little daughter. I mean, they may have been like further up in the parade route, um, we just didn't see them. And the dad had like the autograph book um, open and he was like, can you sign it? And like Rapunzel's in a calèche, which, um, sorry, there's like the French word, I don't know, like we speak franglais in Disneyland Paris. So it's just like a little like carriage that's pulled by Maximus. Like Rapunzel doesn't go and meet and greet during the parade, unlike some of the other princesses who can go over. When Rapunzel saw this dad holding an autograph book open, she was just kind of like, she just smiled and waved at them, just kind of like carried on as normal um, because I mean what did the dad expect like Rapunzel was just gonna stop the whole parade get out go sign their book and then carry on like it just I, I don't know <laughs> and then like as they were like coming around like one of the last uh, well not the last corner but like the last roundabout she looked to the right and she saw them again in the front row it was busy this day so they will have pushed their way through like three or four rows of people on that day to get to the front row and he was there again with the autograph book and because she'd kind of seen um that they had like followed her down the parade route and pushed in front of other people she just kind of ignored them this time eugene also saw them and had a little chuckle but yeah like i mean what what did they expect that rapunzel was just gonna stop the parade like i just i don't understand <laughs> yeah i don't know it was funny a bit strange they followed them down the parade route probably were there right at the end as well but I mean she didn't see them again. There was a boy once in the Disneyland hotel and he was meeting with Chip 
and he actually like tried to take off Chip's head um, because he was like you're not real I know you're a person in there and then he was like hitting Chip and trying to pull off his head and Chip just kind of like got up and left. The parents did tell them off thankfully. Some parents don't they just kind of like laugh but like it's like I mean that kid was like four years old like I don't know why he thought it wasn't real. It's, it's a shame when you see kids like that um, it kind of ruins it for all the ones around it. Okay so there was a situation when I was hanging out with King Louis once and he was doing just like a free set in the afternoon so a free set is basically um, there's no queue. The next family came up and the little boy was terrified of King Louis. He was with his dad and I think maybe there was like another adult there but anyway um, the dad was like holding the boy in his arms and he was screaming like he did not like King Louis. He was crying his eyes out and one of King Louis's King Louis poses that he does um, is you know how like monkeys like they lean on their um, front fists so King Louis went and did that so obviously like he bends over a little bit and the dad rather than like joining in and like you know most most guests will join in and do the same pose. But the dad thought for some reason it would be a great idea to put his already screaming child, terrified of King Louis, on King Louis's back. Bearing in mind, the characters aren't allowed to pick up your kid. You're not allowed to just put your kid on a character's back. And your kid was already screaming. Like, what is going through this dad's mind when he did that? I have no idea. It was bizarre like it was just so weird the ACC like shouted at him she was like no get him off like she went for it um which I mean I suppose you have to like you know get the message across but like what was going through this man's head when he put his child who was clearly terrified like it's most parents if their kid is screaming they'll put them like on the other side see if they calm down if they do they'll take a picture if not then they'll be like okay we'll leave it I don't understand, I don't, like, what kind of dad are you to do that? I mean, what? Anyway, yeah, and I mean that can really hurt the characters as well, so please don't ever put your kid on a character, um, because it can, it can really hurt them sometimes as well. Just saying. So then the last guest story that I want to share with you was a really, like, made, made Rapunzel nervous. It just, it was a lot of pressure to put on her. So some people came in and she had like a little notepad and Rapunzel was like, oh, do you want me to sign your book for you? And she was like, yes, but I'm actually going to get a tattoo. Um, so I was wondering if you could write the lyrics to your song and then sign it. Um, and Rapunzel was like, oh, wait, you're going to like get a tattoo of um, the writing? She's like, yeah, yeah. So if you can write it out, then I'm going to get it tattooed exactly like that. And Rapunzel was just like, uh, pressure much? <laughs> I think it was the worst signature she's ever done. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sorry Rapunzel, but it, it was terrible. The handwriting was not neat. Her friend's one was a lot better because the pressure was just taken off so it just rolled, you know? But um, with the tattoo one, like there was pressure, there was like, her hands were like, okay. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure to put on a character to say that you're gonna get it tattooed. I really hope that and she didn't get it tattooed exactly like that because I mean honestly it was it was appalling <laughs> um, yeah worst signature I think Rapunzel has ever done ever and this woman is gonna get it tattooed on her body um, so yeah I really hope she got the tattoo artist to fix it up and do nice handwriting uh, but you never know. I mean, this poor woman could be walking around with something that is illegible on her arm, leg, wherever she got it. I really hope she got the tattoo artist to fix it. And I hope that, you know, if she did want it exactly written how it is, I really hope that she at least took her friend's autograph, because that one was a lot better. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, like, she was, like, in love with Rapunzel. So, like, it was a really sweet meet and greet. Like, she was, like, crying and stuff. Like, it was cute. But at the same time, like, what? Can't do that to poor old Rapunzel. Oh, that was a lot of pressure. Yeah, so that is all I have for you today for weird guest stories. I have got a whole nother page of um, cute stories from like, mainly from kids written down. So I am gonna do a video on those, which is gonna be really nice. So 
keep an eye out for that if you want to see it. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a bit of a laugh. Just make sure that if you do leave a comment on this video to keep the magic. Yeah, if you want to ask a more in-depth question, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!